So hey YouTube, today I'm going to be showing you how to make the sprite on scratch jump. So first you need to know the basics. Over here is where all the um, commands that you put in to your workspace, which is over here, work. And the sprite moves, or the background moves, or whatever. And um, right here is where you get all your commands, like making the making the um, sprite move 10 steps to where he's pointing, or um, turn certain areas to a certain turn a certain amount of degrees and then you got all the other ones but what we're going to be focusing on today is um making the sprite which is the cat jump so what you're going to need to do is you're going to need to make a when flag clicked so then you're going to put a forever with an if in it with an if then in it so then you're going to have if key space pressed because or whatever key you want to make so that the scratch so that the sprite jumps you're going to make it so that it changes so that so so that it make so that it makes him jump and moves up so you're going to also need, need to make a variable by uh with that so i'm just going to name it pull and speed for now So you can name it whatever you want. I just named it falling speed, and it should give you five command, um, five new blo um blocks. So what you're going to do is change falling speed by I'm going to make it twenty, and then now as you can see, it's it's not changing it by anything. And at the beginning, you're gonna you're gonna um want to make it so that it sets the falling speed to zero and it is not in the forever block or otherwise when you um make him jump so if it's in the forever block it's always going to set it to zero um so he's not so it's going to 20 and then to zero but and it's not going f any higher wait hold on so as you can see it's only going up to 20 and nothing else I'm gonna come back when I take it. So now your code should look like this. And um, to make them actually move up when you change the falling speed, you're going to want to say change y by falling speed. So now when I put, you're going to want to put it below change falling speed by whatever number you want or whatever you named it. So now he's going to move up into the air. But now you want him to come back down. So you're going to need to put an if else block in. So you're going to want to have if y position is less than negative 130, then change y, no, then set y to negative 130 so you're so you're going to if y position is less than negative 130 then then set y position to negative 130 and set falling speed to zero so now you're going to need something in the if then the else block so if you always want him to be like moving up and down then you're not going to put the repeat um the repeats until lock in. But because I don't want him going like up and down like this, then I'm gonna put the repeat until lock in there. So I'm going to have repeat until Y position is less than negative 129 or you could have at negative 130 but i'm just having it at negative 129 and then it's going to repeat this until the right position is going to
get lower than negative 129. So now I'm just going to do change falling speed by negative 2. So as you can see now it's going down and um, I'm just going to set that to 0. So now you're going to want to have something else in here. Um, you're going to want to do change y by falling speed. But here you want it to be negative. Up here you want it to be positive because positive is going up. Negative is going down. So if I go like this, it's going to fall back down. And when I press space, it's going to jump up. So yeah. If you want him to move, which I'm going to be showing you, you're going to want to put... Okay, so I'm going to come back when I set it up like I did here, but not the exact same things. So if you want him to move while jumping, you're going to um, have to put the left and right part into, do, into two different blocks. No, you're going to have to put this jumping part and the left and, and moving left and right part into different blocks like um like into different scripts so like this but if you want him to just jump up into the air and um just not be able to move then just put it in the same script um so now you're going to want to make him move 10 steps if um no you're going to want to make him point in a certain direction and because this one is going to be moving right, I'm going to make it 90 and move 10 steps. But because the other one's going to be pointing left, I'm going to make it point in um, 270. But for scratch, it just says negative 90 left. So then, now I'm going to want to make it so that it actually moves. So now I'm going to put when left arrow key pressed and when right arrow key pressed so now when I um, go like this he can jump and move oh. yeah but there's something you have to do so that he doesn't go upside down when you make him go left you're going to want to press the I button and make him so that he only rotates left and right not so the default one is like in a 360 thing in a circle but for um but you want him to be on left and right on the left and right arrows so now when i make him move to left and i make him move to right he'll move that way and he can even jump while doing that so yeah hopefully this helped you and if it did leave a like and maybe subscribe so yeah Bye, YouTube.